from Crane's business, White Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf preparing to ask for $1 billion in public money to help build a new stadium in the South Loop. And WGN's Shannon Halligan is here now to fill us in on the details. This is a big ask. Yeah, well, right? the, the project proposes uh, the creation of 10,000 plus construction jobs to build the park and an additional 22,000 permanent jobs. But is that enough to move forward? According to Cranes, the meeting with state leaders could come soon. A ballpark on the river. That's the hope, according to renderings obtained by WGN, showing a proposal for a new White Sox ballpark. According to sources, the new stadium would be built on the 78th site near the South Loop. Now, Cranes Business Chicago reports that White Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf and related Midwest president Kurt Bailey have been meeting with community and elected leaders to stir up enthusiasm for the deal. According to Cranes, the two are confident they can win state support. Earlier this month, Governor J.B. Pritzker said he had not been briefed on the proposal and was reluctant to use taxpayer funds to build a new privately owned stadium. I don't really want to opine about it because I don't know what financing they're looking for. And I, but you understand that you know, my view in general is the taxpayers shouldn't have to pick up any bills for private businesses that are trying to you know, extend their franchise in the city or the state other than the normal things that we help businesses with like infrastructure. The 78 encompasses about 62 acres and is close to expressways and public transit systems. Still a major hurdle for the project to move forward depends on how the White Sox negotiate tax revenue proceedings with the Illinois Sports Facilities Authority or ISFA. Currently, ISFA receives a 2% hotel tax. That's just one part of a hotel guest bill. Michael Jacobson, president of the Illinois Hotel and Lodging Association, said in a statement to WGN, quote, A new neighborhood at the 78 that includes a ballpark for the White Sox would be an exciting development for the city as long as the funding source is stable. While related Midwest and the Chicago White Sox have assured us the existing Chicago hotel tax that funds sports facilities, along with other revenue sources, would be sufficient to fund the ballpark, our priority is protecting the hospitality and visitor industry. We look forward to additional conversations with related Midwest and the White Sox organization, as well as city and state officials. Guaranteed Rate Field, where the White Sox currently lease, is owned and financed by the ISFA. That lease, though, runs for another five years until 2029.